there yet, but this landing area is something to take into consideration. Four is the green firm. I'll tell you, ours are a little soft right now. <laughs> Irrigation went off last night, so they are wet, <laughs> okay? So um, they're soft, they're not gonna really roll out much, okay? So that means you can hit your ball almost all the way to the hole without fear of it rolling over the green. If, if greens are firm, like if you're playing on this floor, watch out, because <laughs> once it hits, it's gone, okay? All right, landing area. Um, conditions, and what I mean by that, it's chilly this morning, the air is a little heavy, okay? The ball's not gonna go as far, all right? So if, again, you have that five iron shot, the air quality out there is saying, uh-uh, you gotta hit hybrid today, okay? Or you have to hit fairway wood today, all right? Or maybe driver, who knows? Who knows? Um, but you gotta take into consideration your, we're, we're pretty much, at sea level here in Cincinnati, we're just like 400 feet above, so you don't have to worry about the gospel actually going farther in Cincinnati. If anything, it's going to go a little shorter. Okay. Um, wind is also another condition. The wind in your face. Uh, most of our wind in the winter comes out of the north. The north does not help your golf ball go farther. A north wind actually pushes your ball down. Okay. So it helps to know. Everyone, if you've got a smartphone, it has a compass on it. <laughs> I mean, if I'm in a tournament, I know where north is, all right? Because I, I want to know where, what my prevailing wind is, where is it coming from, and if it's a north wind, it's going to push my ball down, all right? You're like, oh my gosh, all this goes in the stick in my club. How am I going to figure it out? <laughs> and then belief is belief in yourself. If you don't like that five iron shot, don't hit it. If you prefer the seven iron shot, knowing you might be a little short, hit the seven iron, okay? That's just belief in yourself and what you're trying to do. So to make it really simple, take your yardage, look at your lie. If it's really got a lot of grass around it, take more loft, all right? We know it's cold, add more club because it's cold, all right? This landing area thing, greens are soft, they're not gonna roll out on you. You can hit it all the way to the pin if you want to. Um, the condition thing, Again, it's cold, it might be a little breezy out there, so just take a little more club. That's all you really need to know. You can do quick calculations like that, right? Doesn't have to be perfect, all right? But the whole idea is you've gotta believe in what you're trying to do. And if you hate that shot, don't hit it, all right? Okay. Questions? No, so I've got four, eight, 11, all right? Okay, cool, so we're gonna have um, two foursomes and a threesome, right? Yeah, two foursomes and threesomes. Um, if you've already loaded on a cart with somebody, that's your cart buddy. Um, we're gonna play one, eight, and nine. All right, so one group can go to number one, one group can go to number eight, and one group can go to number nine. I'm gonna let the threesome go to number eight. Okay, so whoever ends up being the threesome, go to eight, foursome on nine, foursome on one. I'm gonna do my best to drive around and watch everyone play, and if you have a question, I can answer it, all right? But I'm a little... <laughs> I'm a little challenged today. So um, just be patient with me. I will try as best I can. We're going to play, um, excuse me, the yellow blue tee, or the yellow tees, which um, on number one are up front on top of the hill. So when you go up the path, those tees are actually to the right and on top. Okay, it's about a 100-ish yard shot. Um, number eight tees are on the middle tee box. You should see them pretty well. That's going to be around a 90 shot, okay? Um, and then number nine, those tees are about 110-ish. They're on the right-hand side as well. Um, just please don't take too many mulligans when you're out there, because I want everyone to try to play three holes, okay? So if you really feel like you need to hit an extra shot, um, just try to keep it to like one extra shot and not like 10 from the same area, okay? Just because we're trying to keep people moving. I do have a couple golfers out there, but they're really good about understanding what I'm trying to do, and they'll get out of our way. Um, so when you say three holes, we're only playing holes one, eight, nine. Okay. Yeah, we're only playing I thought you were talking about shotgun start, but that's not what you're Correct. Saying. We're only okay. going to play three holes, because I think in about an hour is probably enough. By the time I get to you and talk and we ask questions and we hit maybe one random shot here and there that we want to practice again, um, it'll probably take about an hour-ish. That's my guess. Hey, if we get done early, keep on going if you want to. I don't care. Larry's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so everyone have balls, tees, clubs? Yeah. All right, this should be 
fun. If you're on a white golf cart, you do not need a key. If you need help finding a golf cart, Porsche can help you. Um, the green carts are the only ones that need keys on them, so I try to keep everyone on the white one, but it's okay if we're not perfect. I don't even know what to put mine on. <laughs> so it's good. All right, any questions before we go out? No, this will be super fun, and the weather's been so cooperative for us. I'm so grateful for the weather.